Rose is great. Rose is my favorite uh, female fighter. Um, I think she's also just has a, there's an intensity to her. I thought it was a really cool moment in the the stare down where Jessica Andrade gave Rose a rose, um, and and Rose couldn't help but smile. She tried to hold it back, but she couldn't help but like let go. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. I, was, I, I didn't actually, I mean, I saw, I saw, I didn't see the facial expression thing, yeah. but uh, yeah, that was very cool. You know what, uh, did you see what she said after the fight? Well, she's talking about possibly retiring. She's like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. And a lot of people think maybe, or, or you could be forgiven for thinking, oh, you know, she's lost a belt. She's kind of sulking saying, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't think it's that. I think it actually shows tremendous strength of character because it is a crazy thing, you know, to do that for a living. It's not a normal thing to do, to train for your sole purpose, to go into a cage and fight another person. Mm-hmm. And she did it. You might- you know, thank you very much, DC. Uh, and she became the champion and she made some money and she probably wants to do other stuff you know she said i mean if you look at her she's a very artistic woman she plays the piano she's very intelligent she's very smart um you know yeah i i think to walk away from all the money still on the table that she could definitely earn i think it shows a lot of character yeah it does but i don't want to see that happen um i think that there's a lot to be done still especially considering the fact that you know she did win that first round pretty handily um you know and also it's like there's that story i mean we're we're building the foundations of these female divisions you know and you need these crazy stories you need you need i think you need to see rose versus andraj too that for for the division you know but, but, but lewis but lewis hold on what has that got to do with rose it is not her you know she's not obligated to build the division she is if she wants to retire she has to do what's right for her so all those things that you're talking about there that you want to see the di- division get built and you want to see the rubber match and you know it's for the greater good of mixed martial arts and women's mma i'm gonna do with rose nami Yunus. you know fair play to the sport fair play to the ufc but if she wants to retire and do what's right by her then yeah she can retire and you can either say good for her or don't say good for her but you can't give a counter argument that you she needs to do it for the greater good of the ufc well it's not that that's not necessarily a counter argument that's sort of the reason why i don't want her to retire and i think that rose when you lose the way you lose you get knocked out you're concussed you're embarrassed you you know there's so much going on there. There's all these emotions. I think in the moment, this is the same reason why I think Rogan said uh, he doesn't believe that people should be interviewed after, after knockout losses, which I thought was a great point. Um, because you say some and you don't know. I, dude, I if I have a bad morning, I might say some crazy shit. Microphone in my face. You know, if I miss a subway, yeah. I might say some crazy miss my train so you know i I don't necessarily believe that rosen damianus wants to retire um based off of that sort of moment and i am more than anything as a fan i would like to just say i'm a big i am a big fan i don't want to see her go because i think she is a really really great um contribution to female mma yeah yeah yeah, for her own legacy and you know this is a you know you know fighter who got the championship part of her legacy you know being you know somebody who helped build that sport similarly to ronda rousey or, or similarly to you know whoever else through the you know throughout the history books i think should be important i think if she looks back on her career she should say hey you know what i was a part of something that was really really important yeah well maybe or maybe she just rather grow f- countryside you know what i mean if she wants to do that then again i'll say it, that's her god but what you said before there was a good point in there um, and <laughs> i actually said this saturday night oh that's why you give me credit because you because you said well, it first yeah, so. i'm like lewis obviously saw the post fight show and he's stealing my points down he's rehashing them as he's on but okay we'll go with it we'll roll with it okay that's the way it's gonna be it's that kind of show no so uh you Obviously, after a fight, you, you've just been knocked out. All those things that you said, that definitely applies. You know, losing a fight, this this sport is so brutal. You know, it really is. There's no other sport like it on earth. Any, the majority of sports are played by teams. And then, of course, there's a lot of solo sports, but there's nothing more perilous or, or you know, 
the stakes are high in a fight, whether it's boxing or mixed martial arts, okay? They're the toughest sports in the world because there's no middle ground. There's one winner, there's one loser, you know, and that's it. And if you lose, yeah, you're majorly depressed. I've, I've you know... I always put a brave face on it, but yeah, of course, you, you, you're massively depressed, you're sad, you failed in your mission, all your friends have flown in, it's been all over the world on TV, hype building up to it, you see your face on post and you fail, you lose in the most devastating way possible. You get picked up and slammed and knocked out, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and you just think, you know, a part of you might think, I'm going to do something else. So maybe there is a, a bit of that to it. Maybe there is, maybe there's time will tell, time will tell. But anyway, as I said before, well done, Jessica and George. You gotta give it to her, you really have. And uh, and yeah, I agree. I would like to see uh, yeah, Beth is and, like and we should talk about the the BJ fight because yes. Connor tweeted something. People were saying maybe BJ should retire. <laughs> he set a record now for consecutive losses. Many, seven consecutive losses. Has he had seven? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And he's winless in eight because the fight before that was a draw. So wait, how did uh who did he have a draw with? Um, I forget. I gotta look. I know. What did Connor oh, say in his tweet? Um, BJ's draw was against John Fitch, and then he lost seven, seven fights straight fights. fights. I mean, I mean, big names that he's. What doesn't you know, matter? Uh, What's right. his total record? He's 16, 14, and two now. So, uh, yeah. And that's what he's but he's fighting. I guess it's the name. He's a legend, dude. Let me tell you. I'm forty four, dude. I fought him when I was twenty eight. <laughs> the guy's been around, right. man. The guy's been around. I don't. It's 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 not about money either with BJ. I just think that, that guys do this for so long, you know, it's hard to see what's, the, when it comes down to what's next, it's like, it's like Jimmy, one day you're like, all right, now don't do stand up anymore. What are you doing? You're like, ah, I'm going to the comedy cellar. No, you're right. not. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, what you, uh, what, what's your schedule? But I want to go there, but we're not paying you. Oh, but I want to, it's just what you're used to. It's like a routine of like, all right, when it's not, it felt weird when I stopped. I'm like, all right, I don't have a fight coming up. Like even after a few months, I'm like, all right. Right, you know, and then I met my bird. <laughs> <laughs> then I met my bird. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Um, to so. answer your question, Jimmy. So, uh, <laughs> Dylan Dennis, who's one of Connor's teammates, obviously was in, got attacked by Khabib right. in the, yeah. the eagle uh, jump. He had tweeted, "Please, BJ, retire. You got nothing to prove." And Connor replied to that and said, "He has got uh, nothing to lose." Uh, either soldier on soldier zero concussive knockouts on record some repetitive blows yes but zero lights out there are fighters with way worse on the clock way more mental issues and are paraded to continue people in this game are fools blind sheep so connor is saying look bj's losing but he's not like getting killed by anybody yeah so i don't know uh he just ran out of gas End of the mean, second round, early third round, he, he ran out of gas. He did, he, here's the thing, though. I mean, it, while that's true, like, Guida won the fight. It's not like he got destroyed, BJ, but it didn't really ever look at any point like BJ was going to win the fight. I thought fight the first either, round he looked know? really good, though. He first, looked fine. No, he looked great first, first. first round he, yeah. looked, he looked good. Yeah. But I don't know. It's weird. It's almost like you, I don't know if you blame this on, on age. Like, <laughs> BJ was kind of always like that. Like, his game. his endurance was questioned in the past. Like, right. where his fights where he's coming out strong. And then he'd start to, you know, you know, fade, you know, and that's 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 when he was in his prime. So that's not going to get better as you get older, you know. But as far as you look at his last two fights, I mean, he definitely didn't really. I mean, you know, besides icing that knee, I don't know what happened to his knee with Ryan Hall, but right. uh, if it got popped or not. But that's something that could happen in class. And I don't know, did Clay really hurt him? It was more of him getting gassed. Right. It's not like he took a bad beating. He took a few shots, I think, in the third. I think he got, didn't he get stunned uh, in, in, in towards mm -hmm. the middle of the third yeah, round? Yeah, a couple uppercuts that yeah. Clay landed, yeah. I don't know. Again, it's not like he's, it's not like what was happening to Rashad Evans or right. somebody that we like to do that with Chuck Liddell, where you're like, oh man, I don't want to see him get hurt The wives are getting put out a lot, yeah. You know? I don't know. I, I, I really, I, I, know, I mean, I know BJ for so long. I love the dude. He's a really good, good person, you know? I, I just... How old what, is he, Matt? I don't know. I, how old is he? He's a little younger than me. He's got to be 39, 38. Oh, he's... Uh, you know? What is he, 38 or 39? Uh, like he just turned 40 in December. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit younger than me, but he's 40. So, I don't know. He's got... He's the same as me. I think he's got like two or three girls. You know, little kids. So... I don't know. He could do whatever he wants. He's like the the the, the mayor of Hawaii there or whatever. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you know, the guy's a legend. He could do whatever he wants. So, who knows? I just I wish him best. I yeah. Don't, I don't want to 
I'm not sitting here saying, oh, he should retire. It's not like he is getting destroyed. And it looked like he was having a great time as far as leading up to it. Like, I saw some pre-fight stuff, and he was in the back, and he's hugging everybody. He's having fun he's training. Running. And he, he did look good in the beginning, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. He did have a good... Right, he had a good first round. I, to me, it just didn't seem like... At no point did I feel like Clay Guida was in danger. Right. You know what I mean? That, that, that's all I mean. But he did have a good first round. He looked all right. All right. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll figure out what he'll figure out what he wants to do. And yeah. We'll all find out about it. Yeah. Will Dana let him keep fighting? I mean, will, will they? How, does he have a contract with how many fights left on it? Yeah, that I don't know. I think he does have a few. I think he does have a contract with a few fights left on it. So Into the, uh, the fights from this weekend, Dana White, during the event, or maybe right after, posted a photo of Nate Diaz and Anthony Pettis. And he said, Diaz versus Pettis co-main event August 17th wow. at 170 pounds in Anaheim. Not official, but Dana posted it. So it's not, he's and what's not. Anthony's last couple fights, Chris? Well, the last one is the finish of uh, Wonder Boy, that ridiculous. Oh, like, right, right, but, right. But, he, but he was losing that fight, though, until that point, uh, which doesn't matter. He won. But, yeah, it didn't matter at all. Um, Rose was winning, too. Yeah, man. She looked as good as ever. She, Nate is 34. So. I think Nate's saying, all right, look, I got to get some more paydays before I call quits. Sure. He's crazy not to. And he puts... Who's his boxing trainer? He's he's, he's the the white haired guy. Or something is it something Ramirez? Yeah, let me ch let me check. I know something like that. I, I like to give him a shout out. They look like they got a nice bond. Richard Perez. Yeah. Richard Perez. The, uh, what the fuck? I'm talking about this. I was talking about the Night Stalker. <laughs> Richard, <laughs> Richard Ramirez. Yeah, yeah. Who is it that trains Nate Diaz to put his pants into his socks so his, uh, he doesn't leave evidence? Behind? I was watching this. Some I've been watching some serial killer shit, but we'll talk about that later. But uh, <laughs> Richard Ramirez. <laughs> <laughs> Who's his jujitsu coach? Oh, John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> <What's his name? laughs> Richard, -star team Richard, Richard Perez. <laughs> yeah, Richard Perez. Richard yeah. Perez. I I when. What, Nate, I believe Nate, Nate's going to do the right thing. And, uh, I mean, look. Look what Nate's done to the Cowboy. Look what's Nate. Well, look at him and Connor. Look at those yeah. battles. I think Nate's going to come in prepared, and it's going to be... He you knows. He hasn't fought in over a couple years. When did he fight Cowboy? Man? Was that 2013? I mean, that's a while ago. 2012, even? Yeah, I, I can Or look. is that my crazy thing? Jimmy, it's like me and you. That was 2011, yeah. End of 2011. These little nuggets. Look, Jimmy, that's like you, my little bird, and that's like me. The stock you're larger. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button with its notification bell and leave a comment in the comment box below of what you thought of the video and tune in for more on MMA News Outlet.